Hello everyone and welcome back to Real Living and welcome if you're new. My name's Ashley and today's video is a quite a bit different than what I normally post. It is not your typical inside of the house clean. We are cleaning uh, some odds and ends this week and um, I got the shed and some vacuums cleaned and stuff like that. So come along with me and let's get motivated and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Would you stay till the morning light or would you follow me or would you let so this was definitely one of those weeks that just really got away from me. Um, I planned on doing my normal cleaning every day like I always do, but this week there was just so much going on that I honestly just did not get to anything inside of my house. So we started off by um, cleaning the shed. Now we normally will pressure wash our sheds probably about once a year, but it had been about a year and a half since we were able to get this particular shed cleaned. And as you can tell, it is in dire need of a good cleaning. So all we are using is um, a siding, house and siding cleaner and it is um, concentrate so we have to pre-dilute it and everything like that so I'm going to list it in the description below like I do everything but we just sprayed it down let it sit for a minute and then um, we went and pressure washed everything now some of the stains on the shed did not come out but most of the stuff that was on the shed came off and it was just so satisfying to watch. It's one of my favorite things is pressure washing because it is so satisfying to watch all of the dirt and the grime and everything just basically get peeled off. And it is just so good. So I really hope that you enjoy the pressure washing aspect of this shed. If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Oh, would you stay with me now? Till the morning light Before you turn away I just want you to know That I didn't throw your stuff away Before you make up your mind That I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know
started this back side of the shed, we weren't totally sure if this window awning was even going to come clean. We thought that um, most of it would probably come off, but we were pretty certain that there was going to be at least some kind of red stains or something on it because there was so much built up on it. And surprisingly, when Joe started washing it off, it turned white. So we were definitely shocked at the fact that it definitely came very, very clean. We really thought that it was going to stain, but we definitely got lucky. Um, I don't think that it was just the cleaner itself, but um, yeah, we got lucky that this awning came so clean, and honestly, the rest of the shed came really clean too. I know there's a few stains and stuff like that, but this shed has been here since before we moved in and even bought the place, so it is a very, very, very old shed. So um, a lot of the stains and the dents and everything, obviously we're not going to be able to get it perfect, but the fact that it came so clean, we were definitely super excited. I know that I told you we're over, I swear that I'm sober, just listen, I miss you. And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that That you miss me I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes we were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down I wanna love out loud Talk a little deep About everything that was on our mind Talking to you gave me butterflies Then you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy
because I had so much going on and I wasn't able to get my typical cleaning stuff done, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes things that happen that I don't necessarily always film. And Rubble actually had a doctor's appointment. He had to go to the vet for some shots and stuff like that and get a checkup. But um, I wanted to show you, I love this boy. He is the best boy ever. He is pretty much my dog. We got him for Trustin, but he gravitated towards me. The little dog, Patches, she ended up gravitating towards my husband. And the black dog, Rocky, ended up um, gravitating towards my father-in-law. So, Rubble is definitely my baby. And to see his face light up when he came through that door, it was just, it melted my heart. I love this dog so much. He was definitely wore out by the time we got home and him and the other two slept for quite a long time so it was definitely a day to remember. So cleaning wise the only thing I was able to really get done this week was um, taking apart um, my two vacuums, my stick vacuum and my big vacuum. I wanted to take them totally and completely apart as much as I could and clean everything. <clears throat> so I took all of the filters out. I tried to take as many pieces off that I could that I knew I could wash. Um, these filters and stuff like that are all uh, washable and reusable, but after I washed them and got everything as clean as possible, I waited a full 24 hours before I put anything back together. But this was definitely much needed. Um, I like to try to clean my appliances and stuff at least once a year. But as you can tell, this vacuum is just awful. So between the dogs and everything else that I use this um, vacuum to pick up the hair and everything else, it was just so built up that it was long overdue. So I definitely was happy that I got that done. But um, as far as the rest of the cleaning, it just did not happen this week. Between stuff going on with the kids and the dog's uh, vet appointments, Joe and I also celebrated our 15 year anniversary. We have been together for 15 years and married for 14 years. So we just celebrated that on the 19th. And this week was just one of those weeks where I was like, nothing's gonna get done. So I was lucky to get done what I was able to get done. So at least I got something. And it was pretty productive considering that the vacuum was in such dire need. And um, I was happy to finally be able to get that done. And using it afterwards, it just feels like it works so much better when it is cleaned.
keep on hoping somehow we can make this all right Just keep on trying Glass after glass, I keep hoping you'll come around Drown in our fights and what, whatever can be found Cause I've given in to all my demons lately You know Might be easier just to let it go
So for this week's dinner idea, I ended up making a chicken salad sandwich. Now, the chicken salad I made earlier in the day so that it could sit in the refrigerator. All I used was uh, chicken, some red onions, bacon. Um, I used garlic powder, some garlic salt, pepper, um, and dill and uh, Dijon mustard and mayonnaise. I'm going to list all of my ingredients and everything in the description below. And then later on, after it was all in the fridge and got nice and cold, I uh, took some ciabatta bread and put a little bit of olive oil on them and um, put them on a pan just to kind of heat them up, give them a little bit of a toast and kind of bring them to life. And then just, um, if you like mayonnaise, uh, mayonnaise, um, lettuce, tomato, a little bit of extra pepper, and it was so good. The kids don't care for onions, and they don't necessarily like trying new things. But when I made them the sandwich, they actually ate the whole thing. I even asked Trust, and I was like, how was it? And he said, it was good. I said, did you like everything? He goes, except for the onions. But the fact that he still ate it made me very, very happy. And uh, Joe ended up having two of those sandwiches, which is the one that you see in the uh, reveal. But he definitely hurt himself on these sandwiches, and they were so worth it. But the good thing about chicken salad is you don't have to just stick with sandwiches. Um, I also like to take the lettuce and wrap some in it and make a lettuce wrap, or you could put it on crackers, or just the the sky's the limit when it comes to certain things like this so i really hope that you enjoy this recipe uh leave me a comment down below let me know what you think um i have so much that is going to be going on next week uh we are going to be getting ready for a little weekend vacation away from the house we're going to st augustine so we have a lot to get done. I've got the house. I've got to get it totally cleaned and ready so that I don't have to worry about anything when I get home and all of that. And I also want to get it ready so that I can start my Halloween decorating uh, within the next week or so. So hopefully when we come back from vacation, we are going to start with the Halloween decorations, but I will definitely have a nice long cleaning video for you guys next week because I have so much to catch up on. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.